It is? Turn, turn, right, there you go. No, the other one. one? There it is. That's, yeah, oh, I do look good. That's a good set. My hair was a little longer there. I knew got fit for this role. Exactly. Let's make this deep. Okay, yes. yes, please. Let's get real deep. We're so tired of Balls just deep. laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back on January 1st, 1936, at the Green Hornet made his debut on American Radio. Now, 74 years later, it finally gets that big $100 million movie makeover. And I don't know, along the way, from Michelle, in the last 13 years, 20 drafts, from Michelle Gondry to Kevin Smith to Stephen Chow, back to Michelle. I don't know whether there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, or whether, especially for you, uh, Seth, whether it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, it was both, I would say. I mean, it was a real... It was at times just very difficult to kind of keep the train moving forward, uh, as you would say, I guess. But uh, once we got it going, then it was a lot of fun. And uh, now, especially to be able to watch the movie uh, and be really proud of it, it's uh, it's very exciting, finally. Because if it sucked, I might kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Jay, I know for Bruce Lee in 1960 to become Kato was a big yeah. deal, that his American debut. For you, you've sold 28 million albums. You, you're a major star. You've gotten your Hong Kong Film Award for Best Newcomer, the Golden Horse Award. I don't know whether this was a big deal for you or whether you felt it was another day at the office. Yeah. Such a long question. I should have yeah, She'll make it short. I was shocked to have I should have her with me all the time. <laughs> oh, it's, it's very... Yeah, uh, yeah, a big deal. She's a big deal. It's a, it's a, it's a very big challenge. Right? Mm -hmm. Challenge, challenge. Yeah, yeah. It's a very big challenge. So uh, for me, so uh, I like challenge. Are I, you uh, nervous? Were you? I, <laughs> of course, nervous because right. who, um, no matter, no matter who plays the new Kato, he would be nervous because Bruce, Bruce Lee is a, is a legend. Mm -hmm. No, no, no one can replace him. But also excited because my parents can s can see my <laughs> in in, in the in on the on the screen. Ah, uh, cool. It's <laughs> Kato. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kato. Yeah. I was I was thinking for you, Cameron. Uh, you've always had a tomboyish streak in you, and, you're, and certainly you're, you're great with comedy, and, and you've done action with Charlie's and mixed them all up. Was, was this a lot of fun, or I don't know whether you felt like you were in a boys' club and you were sort of. Flirting around the edges? Or? A sausage party. It was a sausage. <laughs> a snossage. It was a snossage fest. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> um, I had the best time. I love, you know, working. I, I, I you know, I, I was the only girl um, in the cast for most of the time. Not on the whole set, Not though. the whole set, yeah, exactly. We so, you know, there was some estrogen around. Yeah, um, there was some. I'm pretty there. feminine. Yes. <laughs> 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 I was actually thinking. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, yeah. no. Go ahead. Well, very quickly, I'm going to say for you, Seth, like becoming a lean green me machine from being 2008's High Time Stoner of the Year. Exactly. That, I'm guessing there was some, maybe not blood, but sweat and tears involved. The two in aren't that. mutually exclusive. That's what I've learned more than anything. Uh, you can have it all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was tough. But uh, you know, it's yeah. We just wanted to make sure the joke wasn't that I look ridiculous as a superhero. It's more that I'm stupid. That was the joke we were going for. <laughs> I should I should I was thinking on the way over. I'm a big fan of comedy, and and I, I was, part of me was thinking, okay, well, there's set funny people and stuff like in her shoes doesn't do that well, and something dreadful like Grown Ups does incredibly well, like 270 million plus whatever it was, no and I thought, oh, well, that's not fair. But then maybe it is fair. Maybe that's just the way the world is. That that smarter, more intellectual movies are not going to appeal to everybody, and and ones that are like you know uh, just pure fun. Will. Well, the wonderful thing about this movie is it's smarter. And it is smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's smart. It's incredibly, in incredibly intellectual. Yeah. And it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, you that know, it's a big a action movie. Play. So we're just going to take that and just yeah. run all the way to the bank with it. Exactly. <laughs> well, do you think about comedy in those terms? Because especially for you, being uh, the, the judge sort of Apato circle, and, and you're obviously a very good writer and a good performer, and you've done wonderful comedies as well, Cameron. And, and I don't know about you, Jay, if any of your films have been comedies, but... Do you think about that sort of side of the business much? I think that not everything is funny to the same people, you know? And I think that uh, there's there's a lot of big comedies that do well that I don't think are funny, and a lot of, a lot of movies that I think are really funny that no one goes and sees. And I've and I've probably made both types of those <laughs> movies. Uh, so it's all fair game. I think you never know really what people are going to laugh at. Ultimately, you can try to guess, but you never know. 
uh, you know, like The Big Lebowski didn't make a lot of money in the theaters. It's one of the best movies of all time. But at the same time, there are some really funny movies. Like Ghostbusters is one of the biggest movies ever. So there, movies can be both, and they can be neither. So you just kind of got to hope to be one of the ones that's good and successful. Ditto for you, Cameron. Ditto. <laughs> Ditto, Jay. Ditto. Yes, just yes. so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. Have a good day. Thanks a lot, man.